Good evening once again everyone, my name is Mr. Snag Hennigan, and tonight we're going to be doing part 7 of the Adventures of Alundra Let's Play, where we will be seeing the aftermath of having cleared out the Ainoa coal mine. We found out that uh, it had been, that the other end of the coal mine had been dug out by the Murg, which, who were trying to find some strange crests, some unde undescribed and mainly undiscovered crests, uh, for, what was it, Melzaz, the primary antagonist of the game. And we can find out here, with the wacky antics, uh, exactly where the Murg live. It is a strange uh, structure, I suppose. It's pretty much a giant tree that all the monkeys live in. As you can tell from the slightly goofy music. Now, get a lovely panning shot here. Uh, let me just get a closer look at this. Oh, man. All these monkeys here. Craziness as it is. We're going to be exploring this place near the... I don't remember exactly when we explore this place, but we will be exploring it at some point. That's something to remember. As, a, as you can tell, this is going to be confusing as anything and very difficult to traverse. Which is why we're going to be doing it later, thankfully. Or going to be, it implies that we can do it at any time. We, we, have, we end up exploring this place later on, when we get the opportunity. <coughs> With that, ha with that having been sighted, Lundra decides, nope, screw the ladders. No, I'm not going to climb down here, I'm going to just jump down. Screw that nonsense as it is. Uh, this room is not entirely important at the moment because it's completely locked and the switch is ru the lever is rusted. It seems like every lever that can't be hit is rusted and yet could be sh can be knocked, by knocked away with enough force. We'll see exactly what happens to that one later on in, well, actually technically in the next video, so... Kind of sucks if you're if you're watching this uh, today instead of after the next video has been uploaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we do, we we get what was it? We get back to we get back to what we're doing usually, and we come back to the entrance, the exit of the coal mine to find that the boulders have been moved. And thankfully, we've got Klein here, quick as a bullet, reminding us that yes, they may have been connected. To be entirely fair, he didn't have the context, but. Uh, yeah, hidden entrance. Yeah, it's definitely hidden now. Thankfully, uh, Jess is not worried. The voice crack. No, Jess isn't worried about the fact that was worried about the fact that we may have had issues, but we we're fine. Unfortunately, they found the corpses of three of the of the other three miners. So that's what a death tally of four so far. Not exactly doing too good, are we? But anyway, with that cleared out, they all bugger off, and we we'll, we're free to roam as we usually do. Uh, I've cut out. I've cut out a portion of the piss aboutery because it's mainly because mainly it was just um, oh hey I'm cutting I'm cutting bushes and killing slimes. Got to cull that slime population, man. No, but uh, anything that's actually got something going on in it, I've kept in. So this is going to be a short video. I do apologise. It's a short video. It's still bloody 13 minutes long. <laughs> now, as you can tell, to the left is the uh, the Merg Woods, the place that we have we just explored slightly, only slightly. And um, yep, soiling simians. Gotta get that joke in. Well, not joke, more of humour. Anyway, as you can tell, we're on the other side of the river here, which is pretty cool, but uh, not exactly useful here. Uh, not exactly useful for us at the moment. However, we are on the other side of the river, which actually was originally blocked by a boulder on the bridge. No idea how that got there in the first place, or why it was perched so neatly, but hey, it's gone. It would have been nice if we saw it just sort of rolled to the side somewhere, but uh, these things don't bear uh, looking into more, uh, more thoroughly than usual. Uh, this, part, this, part, this, part of the, this part of the world is mainly just... Uh, or is it a one-way system? Like, you can't jump up there, but you can jump down to there. You know, this is pretty cool. But unfortunately, we can't access it at the moment, so it's pretty much just set. Well, I want to say set dressing, but I don't actually know what that means. Oh well. Anyway, colliding with the slimes again, as I do. Um, yeah, here's another show of the strange invisible walls that sort of dot the place. I mean, to be entirely fair, you're not meant to be able to jump into the water until you have the ability to swim, but. Why should that stop the bombs? Yes, I was trying to figure out exact if there was anything interesting going on with the Riverside Pub. Fortunately, unfortunately, it's still closed. But uh, this bit, I always forgot about this bridge. It's always like, well, what the hell? What's going on here? It's like there's a portal. 
been ignoring, ignoring Maxinus, um, I decided, hey, you know what needs to be shown? Bushes. They, they, you know, crazy things. It's like, oh man, they're thorny, but I really want to confirm that they are actually painful. Sometimes you just have to, you know. And yes, we're heading back up to the main entrance of the Unknown Mine to find that, yes, it is in fact completely blocked off, so we are not getting to go back in there at all. It's an unfortunate thing, but, well, sometimes you got to do it to make sure people don't re-explore dumb places. Well, not dumb places, but uh, places that should have been explored the first time you went through. Yeah. <laughs> and if you were a little, if you were a bit more eagle-eyed, you may have noticed that the rock, that the tightly packed rock walls, um, what was it? For some reason, they have a perfectly, perfectly round shadow. Uh, unfortunately, we can't access this place properly yet because of that, uh, because of those strange white rocks. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to access that later. <laughs> yeah, I really need to clear my nose, but I'll do that. Later. Uh, I thought that might have been, may have been able to give me access to something, but ah, uh, no, that would, that would have, that would have involved being smart. No, no, that would have involved something interesting. And here we have an interesting cave that we can sort of explore here. Um, these slimes, uh, for some reason, are tied to that platform. So if you kill them, as you as you know, as you tend to do, if you kill as you kill them, the platform slowly rises, which is pretty cool. But it can it can make climbing and everything a little difficult because oh hey, you got to kill kill these slimes with either bombs or anything else that can kill really easily at a range. And since we had, uh, since we have an abundance of herbs, it felt you know may as well use one. And here we have a, a most amazing prize: ten whole gilder. Oh man, we left a coin in their treasure chest. And yeah, here we go. Another sign of the slime infestation that uh, someone decided to point out to me on my on my personal internet. So, which is like, why the hell are there so many slimes? And what's the deal with it? Like food and all that sort of nonsense. The sort of stuff that you can easily point out and not, and just get instant internet points. But anyway, uh, what was it? Doing? Yeah, the, for some reason the, the bloody things are just falling from the ceiling. Probably throw here. Does it make sense? I mean, would, you can't see the ceiling, so I'm not even gonna pass judgment on it. Anyway, since we can't swim at the moment again, we're gonna have to just leave this place for now. It's another place to think about when we're finally unlocking things for real. And yes, I felt the need to have to kill those buggers, because then it'll show the platform rise completely to the top. I'm not entirely sure why I felt the need to have Valundra hopping all over the damn shop. Maybe he was just excited. I don't know. Uh, with, the, with that place vaguely explored, we're going to go check out that treasure chest, because holy crap, it's a treasure chest. I haven't opened it yet. I must have it. And yes, it's more herbs. You couldn't have seen... I couldn't have foreshadowed that when I tried. Anyway... Pass here, not much going on in this waterfall, and uh, what was it? Thankfully, there's there's a bit less faffing about here. I mean, there, there's still faffing about, but uh, that's kind of what I tend to do intentionally or otherwise, mainly unintentionally. I mean, these bush these bushes aren't going to cut themselves, are they? And thank here we have Olin's house still intact, as it were, and well, intact and uninhabited, I suppose is the term. And there's not much. Is there much going on here? Yes, there is. There is more. There are more herbs to be had here, and strange platforms that we can't make use of until later on in the game. Again, as you do, lots of things that you can make use of. It's kind of like a game in that sort of sense. Now, stupid stupidity aside, or um, person own my own personal stupidity aside. We're going to be exploring the place north of uh, the sanctuary to find out more about Magiscar. And yes, we are—we could have accessed here any at any time and possibly spoken to people when we wanted to, but uh, I'm an idiot. So yeah, uh, no, 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 that'll be that. That's rude to me. Uh, the, over this way is the lake, as that sign did say. I think I read that sign. But uh, we can't really do much here because, well, we need something to break those white uh, white stone. Uh, structures, as it were. And yes, I felt the need to read this again. And to the north is Magiscar, which we will find out about in about two to three minutes. Possibly more, possibly less. Less. Anyway, uh, in this treasure chest we have another herb, so we're not exactly going to be picking it up, because we already have a surplus of the damn things. It's something to pick up, ooh, something to pick up later on. Yeah. <laughs> I felt I had to show this slime off for because it was a slime, it didn't deserve to be there. Right, there's more of these um, strange stone arches dotted about here. 
we'll, we'll find out about that and th those things later on as well. Because, you know, that many that many unique surfaces, uh, unique structures dotted around, there's, there's got to be a reason for them, right? And here we have two whole ten guilder coins. It's crazy. Don't know why people would just store their, store their pocket change here. And if they could, hey, let's see what happens. You can actually examine these treasure chests just to see what's inside them. If you've already, if you already opened them, unfortunately, that never really comes into play. Like, could you imagine if you're, if you're able to just look into treasure chests and like, oh wow, hey, an entire herb. Oh wow, there's another herb. Man, this, today is going crazy. Uh, but no, that that would that would have involved that would probably be another thing that would end up happening if this were, if this game were made in the real times of today, where you'd have like crazy, well, we'd have like things that allow you to re-examine places and get more items. And here we have Magscar. Anyway, ignoring that stupid train of thought. Not much going on here at the moment. Probably never will. So we're just going to head out and... Um, what was it? Yes, yeah, so we're going to head out and return to the Sanctuary. There was a minute of faffing about here, but I've uh, since... Ex well, removed it. I really need to explore that bit up there because I'm pretty sure there was something interesting there. But, oh well, well that's for later. Anyway. We're heading this way, but we're heading this way before having gone back to town and find. Oh, well, this is interesting. The sanctuary's open. I wonder what's going on in here. There's not really much going on in here, but it's it's mainly just um, what was it? Uh, Chancellor Ronan is just sort of there doing stuff, and he seems he doesn't seem surprised. Well, he he seems the fact that he's intrigued more than anything about the fact that the murder there is a little unsettling, but. Uh, not really worth paying any mind to, and with that, with that particular part, sort of explored as it were, uh, we speak to Sephas here, and there's a couple more, there's one or two more caves that I explore before before we end this video. I think it is just one more cave, and there's not much. Well, we just need to get there first. Unfortunately, this does mean more faffing about, but we will make we will be able to see exactly what's going on with the. Um, yeah, we will be able to see what's going on with the, uh, what was it, the uh, rock walls that show the weird shadows. You'll be able to spot it in about a few seconds. You can just see it right there. You can, you can actually see it completely there. It's pretty cool. Very weird. Not entirely sure why they felt the need to do that, but oh well, here we are. Now then, with that cleared out of the way, we get to kill more slimes. Oh man, it's a fucking mile a minute here. Uh, I originally thought that chest chest was a mimic that was just really good at its job, but it turns out it was just a regular chest. It had like, what was it, a herb, I think? Maybe te maybe 30 whole gilder. And in here we have a new item of sorts. A uh, wonder essence, as you can tell from the text. Uh, this thing is useful because it's basically a free, it's a one-up. Very, very useful. Uh, uh, like I said, there was only... Oh no wait, there was a herb in here. But, uh, yes. We've reached the end of the video here, so I thank you all for watching, and hope to see you all again next time.